on the interval from 0 degrees to 360 degrees, including 0 degrees and not including 360 degrees, determine the angles not in the domain of the tangent function and the cotangent function. Let's first focus on the angles not in the domain of the tangent function over the given interval. Remember, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, and since division by zero is undefined, wherever x is zero on the unit circle, the tangent function value is undefined, and therefore those angles where x is zero are not in the domain of the tangent function. Looking at the unit circle, notice how the point zero comma one has an x value of zero, as well as this point here, zero comma negative one, which means when the terminal side of the angle in the standard position is along the positive y-axis or the negative y-axis, we would have division by zero and the tangent function is undefined and therefore these angles are not in the domain of the tangent function. So let's find these angles in standard position over the given interval. We know the initial side is along the positive x-axis and therefore the first angle over this interval not in the domain of the tangent function would be this angle here which is 90 degrees. The second angle would have a terminal side here, which rotating counterclockwise is 270 degrees. So these are the two angles over the given interval where x is equal to zero, and therefore for the tangent function, we have division by zero, which is undefined, and therefore these angles are not in the domain of the tangent function. And now let's find the angles that are not in the domain of the cotangent function over the given interval. Since cotangent theta is equal to x divided by y, notice how here we have division by zero when y is zero, and therefore the angles where y is zero are not in the domain of the cotangent function. So going back to the unit circle, notice how y is zero at this point here, one comma zero, as well as this point here, negative one comma zero, which means when the terminal side of an angle in the standard position is along the positive x-axis, or the positive y-axis, we would have division by zero for the cotangent function, and therefore these angles are not in the domain of the cotangent function. So let's find the angles over the given interval. We'll notice how here the initial side and terminal side would be the same, and therefore it's going to be zero degrees, or one complete revolution, which would be 360 degrees. But again, going back to the interval, notice how the interval includes zero degrees, but does not include 360 degrees, and therefore we list zero degrees. And the second angle is going to have a terminal side here, which rotating counterclockwise is 180 degrees. These are the two angles over the given interval where the y value is zero, which would give us division by zero for the cotangent function, which is undefined, and therefore these angles are not in the domain of the cotangent function. I hope you found this helpful.